So welcome back. We have the price data from Yahoo. I want to do some, sim some simple cleaning. Not too fancy, quick and dirty, fast. It's for teaching or for your own COVID stuff at home. Now, first thing we do, we want just adjust the closed prices. So we delete the volume information and all the rest. We also eliminate all tickers that have more than 100 nuns. These, because I, these are most likely tickers of firms which started to trade after 2000. So I, I want a long sample. So I just get a, a smaller cross section. I will also linearly interpolate if there are some nuns in between. That might be a holiday or something like that. You see, you see like here. I don't know. Quick and dirty. Also, yeah, it's for volume anyways, but most likely it's also for the price. So we just linearly interpolate these things. That's it. So let's just do it. Um, I write a function which is doing the, the cleaning. Yeah. So get adjusted price cleaned. All right. What's the input? It's the Yahoo data uh, on a daily basis. Nice. OK. So we first extract the adjusted close from the Yahoo data. OK. So P is 50 daily shall be my Yahoo data daily. It's a pandas frame, so I can simply call the column, which I need adjusted close. Yeah, you see here, that's the name of the column. You also see it here. Awesome, it's a, it's a string, so that should work. And now I'm going to ignore all tickers that have a hundred or more nuns. All right. P E S fifty D. Give it a little S index, and now we say P E S fifty D, the original one. And I say drop N A. So what do you drop? I want you to drop all the columns, right? Because the firms are organized according to columns. Axis one is the column. And the threshold that you should apply is that P E S fifty daily dot shape zero. Yeah, that's the number of data points minus a hundred. So I can't say a hundred or more delete, I can just say keep everyone or everything that has if we have 5,000 observations, that is more than 4,900 non-nuns. All right, that these you keep. Okay, next thing I do, I do the linear interpolation, just in case there is somewhere a public holiday in one of the countries in Europe, they are not aligned. So whatever is the reason for nuns in between, quick and dirty, let's just uh, linearly interpolate. That should make a big should make a big difference. Um, the s dot interpolate. So what's the method? Keep it simple, yeah? just a linear interpolation. And we can even determine the direction of interpolation, backward, forward, forward, and backward. So let's just go forward. Nice. And let's just see, that should work. Return P E S 50 D S. Okay. No obvious typo. That's nice. Let's just test the function here. P E S 50 daily cleaned shall be get adjusted price clean from our wonderful Yahoo daily data pandas frame. There you go. Show me what you got. Yeah, so we do print ES50 D cleaned. Nice. Uh, January 3rd. All the way, we got the prices. All right, I adjusted. Close. Uh, just, uh, just stopped a little bit. We got nine. 20 years later, we had 300. That's a nice increase. 10, we had 143, it's factor 14. That's like factor 30, Adidas. I knew once I should buy Adidas, but the bank advisor said don't do it. What do they know? Yeah, SAP 27, factor five, adjusted. 
All right. Telefonica. That's the, uh, right. Not everything is sunny and shiny in Europe. Uh, they were worth nine. Now they are worth even two, or let's say three. They're still worth 30%. Yeah, kind of the old telecom economy. All right, Vivendi, something lost two decades. Volkswagen adjusted factor five, roughly. All right. So what do we do next? Um, what do we do next? We have uh, 42 firms, roughly for 5,400 observations and we can work with that stuff, learn a little bit about financial data science. So all we do is just store the data, all right? So it's, we're still in the Pandas data frame, which has these nice functions that we can use. So write that Pandas data frame into a CSV and I want the CSV to have a name, cleaned. The cleaned November 2020 CSV. So say thank you. You're very welcome. Awesome. Works. If you run all of that in the folder where that IPython notebook is B is located, you will now have two nice files. One is the ticker file and the other one is the clean file. Stay tuned.